It's 11 a.m. and I've already bought a Murano lamp. I'm off to a good start. Chili Walk and Peak Emporium. Let's go in and see what they got. Whoa. Pinball machines everywhere. What? Oh my gosh. How fun. All right, well, the first thing I see is this marble. I'm not usually a marble person, but it's $10 and it comes with the glass stand. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm correct, that might be doing something fun. Hold on while I grab my uh, handy dandy Ravenswood, nice man, black light. Nope, I'm wrong. It's not what I thought, but still. Lots of little figurines. Oh my gosh, the half doll's only $8.50. Dude, what is this place? Is that a Staffordshire trinket box? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I am gonna open this, I think. Well, I did pick up the little Limoges dresser, dresser box, which is only $6. Insane. And uh, I did pick up this little half doll. Some of them were all over the place. Like some of them were 25, 22. I love this one with the little size and her mink. So for $8.50, I will be grabbing both of those items. Now I love this little Fenton mini set that's uh, at $68.50. How much on this face? $62.50. Okay, I can leave that where it is. I don't want to knock everything over. Um, let me get a basket or start a pile or something. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more to look at. I've just walked into the first booth. This is an absolutely beautiful antique mall. They have an old school soda fountain with diner too, which is really fun. And the jadeite straw holders and everything. It's completely decked out. Now let's keep going. That's a beautiful hobnail cranberry. This requires a lot of attention. Oh my gosh, look at this. Large ch duck chocolate mold, $152. I almost want that for myself, I'm not gonna lie. That's really epic. I've never seen one that big, and it's a duck. That's so cute. And amongst everything, I see this little Fenton Hobnail Opalescent coin dot box. That is really sweet. $21.50. I actually am going to go ahead and grab that. I think that's really cool. I love that it's a box. Usually you just see the bases and the bowls. Now this is something that catches my attention too. It is signed W.E. Porter again. Uh, this one excites me. I love that. $22.50. I'm going to look this up just because now I have internet service at least. I'm really curious. That was the same artist that I left down the street. Well, I don't feel bad about leaving the one down the street, but for $22.50, this has got a gorgeous iridescence, and you know I love the pulled feather look, so I am going to go ahead and grab this. I'm trying to stay focused, but how can I focus when I see that bangle? $10, the white one with the rhinestones. That's amazing. I need to get in there. Stat. Wow, I love that. That's definitely a Kate item. And then there's some... Bake light. That looks like bake light, that brown one. Um, the other prices look kind of on point, but that white one with the rhinestones is so fun. Look, there's some orange bake light too. All right, I need to get in there. Oh my gosh, look at these little weirdos. I'm kind of curious about. Oh, wait, the Van Briggle kitten. Dang. Again, at $62.50. I'm like determined to find one of those at a resale price. I think they're so cool. Look, look at this. That's gorgeous. Vintage hand-blown candy bowl, $32. Oh my gosh, it's a tight squeeze in here. Um, I was going for this Fenton Star Paperweight, $22.50. That's really pretty. I don't know if I have enough room in that. Probably a little. Oh my gosh, look at the little monkey. What's happening here? Porcelain monkey reproduction though, that's why. I was gonna say, if that was legit, old Chinese, that would be very expensive. Beautiful Burmese, one of my favorite color combos. All of a sudden, I'm not as much into the pinball machines. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's uh, hurry up with the front of this place and carry on. I can't deal, I don't know how they deal with the noise all day. It was nice when I was the only one in here, but 
um, not so much anymore. This is gorgeous. Look at this enamel painted 68.50. And some more hidden treasures in here. Look for stars for sale items. That's really nice. Controlled bubble. Uh, pretty tumblers. Okay, that's actually gonna drive me nuts. What is this paperweight? That's weird. And candy paperweight. That's really fun. Oh, and the elephant. We can't forget the elephant. How much are you? 44. That's not a bad price. Oh my gosh, how fabulous is this ashtray? 35, yeah. That's probably about what I would sell that for too. Oh my gosh, look at this frog. Can we talk about him? He's got a full tummy. How great. $30 though, I can't really do much with that. I wish I could. Interesting assortment going on here. Um, this uh, hula girl tumbler, that's a nice one. Japan, 12 bucks, not a bad buy at all. I've had those quite a few times though. Also, can't help but notice this pineapple napkin holder. That's fun, made in Japan. $30 again though. What is this salt and pepper shaker set? Oh my gosh, 25. I feel like I would actually make money on that. I feel like that's a harder one to find. I'm not sure if I wanna invest 25 in it though. I'm gonna keep looking because I just walked in and I see something that's requiring my whole attention. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Then they have the heart shakers. 25 again. Look at this little vase. Two's company made in China. Just kidding. But still, <laughs> sweet. Those are awesome. It's just a little bit more than I'd like to pay. These are fun too. The poodle jar, 25. What about its case next door? What is this? That's an interesting cat. $25 glass cat. Not bad, but meh. The Francoma pig is kind of cool. I don't usually see that. 40 bucks. Ooh. $50. Oh my gosh, how did I not notice this? It's $90, the Malachite perfume and this little pixie elf planter that's at 65 though there's a lot of good stuff happening over here look at these left in those are so funny and this weird bird <laughs> what's going on with this weird bird all right i'm gonna finish the um well excuse me i'm gonna do the upstairs before i finish down there i'm really intrigued by this place seeing a lot of different stuff, which is quite frankly the, the goal. I love this red dress and the black one. Oh my gosh. I need these in my life. No wonder I like it. It's vintage Sa Saks Fifth Avenue. It's also like a size three. <laughs> this is a gorgeous one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, score. There's also a uh, lower level whole VHX, VHS uh, uh, section. That's kind of a blast from the past. What is happening here? Oh my gosh. That is so good. <laughs> I love it. It kind of seems like I've hit a wall. They have a lot of nice stuff, but it's not really my style. So I think I'm gonna head back up. Metal enamel flower brooches. $9 on this pink one. That's super fun. And uh, how much are these guys? Nine, ten, and nine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the. Oh, ooh. hello. Ten. It's got a little wear on it, but I think it might clean up. How much is this big blue one? It has no price. I'm gonna assume it's ten as well. Gonna go ahead and hopefully they honor the ten dollars on this one as well. I love the large flower metal enamel brooches. Another bangle, 
six box. Wait, there's like a whole thing happening here. Allie Smith perfume. At least that's what it is. It doesn't say that, but I know that. And, um, yeah. Mermaid situation. It's kind of cool. Priceless mermaids. Four dollars. A little pink mermaid. Four bucks. So cute. They're probably contemporary, but they're still pink mermaids. I kind of feel like for four bucks each, why not? How much is 9.25 local artists very cool well i'll take the little pink ones for four dollars each what is this handmade garg gargoyle <laughs> it's so funny and then what is this hold on let me put my flowers and mermaids down this, this is a cat head or a boxer head i'm not sure what's going on here hand painted cat head six dollars and fifty cents and it is marked in there 1981 i'm assuming that says or 1984 it's kind of great and what is this little cat on boot with the dog that's cute the toothpick holder eight dollars and fifty cents kind of like that too i just had one not far from it i think i'm gonna grab the cat head it's just weird Ooh. What's the deal here? Heavy acrylic plastic bangles, $10. Wow, those are really fun. I'll definitely take that. Look at the way those shine on the side of them. That's really cool. Earl Bernard. It's a music box. No lid works. Oh my gosh, look at the little flamenco dancer in it. Four dollars. She's adorable. We'll take the little flamenco dancer. That's a good style. I also couldn't help but notice this plastic uh, bird pin cushion. It says repaired though, so I'm gonna put it back. All right. Well, a hundred and ten dollars in there. Uh, I did have to put back the flower brooch that didn't have a price. Um, that includes the bangle that I may or may not keep. <laughs> and I got an hour drive to my next town. I think this is it for chili cloth. I'm assuming I'm saying it wrong, so apologies in advance. And uh, I will see you guys when I get there.